welcome to Life Journey. I'm your host, Theophilus McPherson. I'm here to tell you about the art of procrastination. Are you procrastinating your salvation? What are you waiting on? Are you waiting for something big to happen in your life? To have the convenience time to say, Lord, what must I do to be saved? The art of procrastination is people that are waiting for something big to happen in their life. Glory to God, to give their life to Jesus Christ. Does it take sickness? Does it take for you to, to, leave, to, 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 to have a loved one to leave this earth? Does it take for you to lose your job? Does it take for you to be paralyzed? Does it take for you, glory to God, the doctor tell you bad news and you decide now you're going to say, Lord, come into my life, Lord. I want to be saved. What does it take? The art of procrastination is for those that putting away, putting delaying, putting time off and saying the time is not right now. The Bible says, today you hear his voice. Harden not your heart. You are hardening your heart for putting off salvation. Come on now, all the sex you have in the world, all the drink you have in the world, all the drugs you have in the world, and still you are not saved. What does it take for you to decide, now is the day that I'm going to give my life to Jesus Christ. What does it take? The art of procrastination. Look at our cemetery. Our cemetery is full of people that say, I'm going to get saved, but never get saved. I'm going to give my life to Jesus Christ, but never gave the life to Jesus Christ. Now, they died of AIDS. They died of herpes. They died of, glory to God, sickness that is uncurable. The day is, today is the day of salvation. Don't put off a day that you could do it now. If you're going to read a book, read it now. If you're going to sing a song, sing it now. If you're going to do your chores, do it now. If you're going to give your life to Jesus Christ, give it now. I'm going to tell you a story, my friend. Not even a story. I'm going to read a verse. And I'm going to tell you, glory to God, what this king did. In Acts, the, the 24th chapter, verse 25. Listen to what it say. Hey, glory to God. Let's say, glory to God, verse 24. Hey, glory to and 25. And after certain days when Felix came with his wife, Drusilla, which was a Jewess, she sent for Paul and heard him concerning the faith in Christ. And his reason of righteousness, temperance, and judgment to come. Felix trembled and answered, Go thy way this time when I have a convenient season. I will call for thee. Hey, glory to God. Listen, my friend. He said, as he reason of righteousness, temperance, judgment to come. Hey, glory. Felix tremble and answer. Go thy way this time when I have Come, when I have a convenient season, I will call for thee. Hey, glory to God. I must tell you, the best time to receive Jesus Christ is now. The Bible say he trembled. And when he trembled, he procrastinated. My friend, trembling, you ought to say, Lord, what must I do to be saved? The best time to get saved is when you have fear in your heart about your salvation. Don't be like this king, Felix. He trembled and answered, go thy way this time when I have a convenient season, I will call for thee. And the Bible say, let's what the Bible say. He's trying to cover up now. He hoped also that money should have been given him of Paul, that he might lose him. Wherefore, he sent for him the other of oftener and commune with him. But after two days, listen, my friend. The Bible say, and he reasoned of righteousness and temperance and judgment. Of course, Felix trembled. How many people tremble, but you're still not safe?
when you tremble, when you get nervous about the calling of God over your life. The Bible said, today you hear his voice. Harden not your heart. What is God's voice? God's voice is my voice. God's voice is his word. If you hear his word, the Bible says, harden not your heart. So, so Felix hardened his heart. And put off salvation. He put off the time to get. The Bible said the summer's ended. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and still we are not saved. The summer is ended. The harvest is ended. And the summer is ended. And yet we are not saved. What going to take you to give your life to Jesus Christ? Stop putting off. Because the more you put off, the more the devil come on. The devil going to tell you that going to church is a waste of time. He's going to tell you being a Christian. So look at those hypocrites at church. My friend, you can't judge it. You can't judge, measure yourself by somebody getting saved. You can measure somebody, glory to God, or whether they are saved or not. The Bible says, save yourself from this untoward generation. When God judge you, God going to judge you as an individual. God not going to judge you as a group of people. Today you hear his voice harden not your heart. Felix, he glory to God, he trembled and he told Paul, for convenience time I will come. I want to hear of this matter, but right now I am a king. Right now I got a good job. Right now things are going good for me. I don't need God. I don't need no savior. I am savior. I got a good job. I'm married. I got a nice car. I got a nice house. The Bible says, save yourself for unto one generation. Look at the rich man. The rich man, glory to God, in, in, in Luke, in Luke, glory to God, the 12th chapter. In Luke, the 12th chapter, the, 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 the rich man, he say, take thy ease and be married. He say, he say, I'm going to build bigger barn. But the Bible say, thou fool, this day thy soul shall be quiet of thee. And who those things you have left behind? My friend, I'm telling you today, my friend, today you'll hear his voice. Harden not your heart. Today is the day of salvation. Listen, listen, my friend. I must tell you this before I close. He glory to God. The Bible say, he glory to God. The Bible say that, that verse 36, and he, and yourself unto the men that wait for the Lord, when he will return from the wedding, that he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Right? So I'm telling people, my friend, don't let it be said too late. King said, for a convenient season, hey, glory to God, convenient season. Look what the Bible says in Luke, the 12th chapter, verse 45. But, 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 and if that servant say in his heart, my Lord delayed his coming and shall begin to beat his maid servant and, and maiden to eat and drink and to, to be drunken, the Lord of that servant will come in a day. When he looked not for him at the hour when he was not aware and will cut himself asunder, will appoint himself with a portion with the unbeliever, and that servant would knew his Lord will and prepare not himself, neither did according to his will, will be beat with many stripes. I'm telling people, my friend, the art of Glory to God, procrastination is people that know the time is now and what you're doing, you are putting off. You're putting off. You say, is this not the right time to get saved? What is the right time to be saved? You've been to funeral? Hey, glory to God. You see, all the folks that died and put in the casket that was buried six feet under ash to ashes and dust. To you think you're not going to die one day? Come on, let's read this girl. Do you think you're not going to die one day? Do you think that tomorrow is promising? The Bible say, boast not for tomorrow. In Proverbs 27, verse 1, boast not for tomorrow. Because know not what tomorrow may bring. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day you say, Lord, what must I do to be saved? Stop putting off. 
like the king say, for a convenience time, I will call you. The day is now. Are you safe? If not, the cemetery is waiting for you.